Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. Uh, I was in the middle of reading the new Star Wars novel, Master and Apprentice, and I'm like, you know what, I, I, I got the urge to do a Star Wars video, but what can I do that is very topical? What can I do? And let's talk about how Ryan Johnson completely ruined Star Wars. I personally think that's... Uh, not a fact. I actually don't agree with that whatsoever. If you guys aren't familiar with me, I'm a huge, massive fan of both The Last Jedi and Ryan Johnson. Met Ryan uh, a couple years ago. Talked to him for just briefly. Like I don't know him personally, but um, I really enjoyed what he did with The Last Jedi, his direction anyhow. So whether or not I like it, that's irrelevant because I know 90% of you guys absolutely hated The Last Jedi and hated with Ryan Johnson what he did with the film. And I just kind of want to talk about, like, why, what is it about The Last Jedi that everybody hates? What is it? Is it because it's kind of slow and there's not a lot of action? Is it because he took fan favorite characters like Akbar and threw him out the fucking window or maybe threw the lightsaber over Luke's shoulder and like it just doesn't matter or maybe because the Luke Skywalker he gave us wasn't the Luke Skywalker that we got in the original trilogy so that had me thinking I'm gonna try to look at it through a fan's perspective a fan of the original trilogy a fan of Luke Skywalker's perspective and I I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Um, there are a lot about The Last Jedi that I, for one, do not like as well. No, By all means, I am not saying that the film is a perfect, mo uh, perfect movie by any means. Uh, I think The Last Jedi does suffer from a lot of problems, including the whole Canto Bay uh, the whole Canto Bite angle, how it really didn't go anywhere. And I think it was Ryan Johnson's intention to set up that the theme of the movie is failure and learning from your failure. And Yoda says later on in the film to Luke, you know, I, Luke says, I can't be what she wants me to be, what she needs me to be. And Yoda's like, failure is the most important lesson of all. Failure is the most important teacher. Um, you know, and it was a very beautiful moment where Yoda, even though he's gone, is still teaching Luke. You know, Luke is still learning, and I found that so fascinating. Now, I think a lot of pro people's problem with Last Jedi, other than what they, what people don't like what happened with Luke, is the fact that when I left the theater, I felt like The Last Jedi felt like an end of a trilogy rather than the second part of a trilogy, and I kind of it kind of dawned on me today that people like Daisy Ridley's character, Rey, had really no character development within that movie. I think we got a lot of character development for Luke. I think we got a lot of character development for Kylo. But I really don't see any character development for Daisy Ridley, the main character for this new trilogy. Basically, Daisy Ridley is the same character. Uh, Rey is the same character at the beginning of this film as she is at the end of the film. She goes and tries to convince Luke that, um, hey, I need you to come do this. Luke's like, nah, ain't going to happen. And then she goes to try to rescue Kylo, try to turn him. Didn't really happen, and she failed. Once again, failure is the greatest teacher of all. She learned to fail, and she finds out that her family is nobody which i still think is going to get wreck on but other than that what what's her what's her big lesson she didn't learn anything her character didn't develop we see how she started off in force awakens what jj did and she somewhat developed throughout that movie but in this one she's kind of in a state of limbo she doesn't really you know learn much or develop much at all she's pretty much the same character at the end of the film as in the beginning of the film and I think when you really look at what Ryan Johnson did, I think a lot of characters got more development than other characters. I, th I think Finn was sort of like a step backwards. I think really the two characters other than Luke that got the most development was Kylo and we Poe. I think Poe got a lot of development in it. And a lot of people want to say, well, Poe's stuff is kind of throwaway. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Why didn't Holder just give him, you know, the information? It was like, well... 
Caldo just saw this guy get almost the entire fleet killed, and Leia just demoted him. So why would she tell him the plan? It doesn't make any sense. If you were in a position of power, you would do the same exact thing, I promise you. So I think Poe had a lot of development to where he went from this guy who was spontaneous and you know all about action to a guy who actually was thinking. Luke, uh, a mentor who lost his way, finds out that... Failure is an important lesson, and then Kylo, you know, going from, you know, basically this underbelly of a wannabe Vader to the Grand Supreme Leader. So I think those three characters have a lot of development, but I can see where a lot of people are upset because looking back at it now, me personally, I was like, you know what, Ray had no development whatsoever in this movie whatsoever whereas you look at empire strike back which is the more slow movie much like last jedi luke had a lot of development within that movie he's a much different character at the end of that movie than he was at the beginning of this movie where ray to me feels like the same character from the beginning of this movie to the end of this movie so that's just really my thoughts on it i kind of wanted to get on here and just talk about star wars a little bit and i just kind of wanted to talk about my thoughts on it, and I would love to talk about more Star Wars things um, on my channel for sure. I'm a massive Star Wars nerd, as well as you know superhero stuff like the MCU and DCEU. But I really don't like the the backlash of the fandom. I think the fandom is really toxic. It's okay not to like something. It is, guys. It's all right not to like something, but. Within the first five minutes of me posting this video, I'm going to get, Last Jedi sucks, blah, 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 sucks. It's like, you don't have to be an asshole about it, you know? If you don't like something, I would love to get a conversation with someone saying, Well, I don't like The Last Jedi. Here are the points of the reason why I don't like The Last Jedi. And then I can kind of talk to that person and go, Well, I think they were trying to do this, or maybe you're right about this, and stuff like that. But when you get people who are just like, Star Wars sucks, Last Jedi sucks, Ryan Johnson sucks, because regardless of what you think about Ryan Johnson and where he took the series, um, he is still a fantastic director. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I try to stay away from the fandom because the fandom is, the, Star Wars has the most toxic fandom out of all fandoms I've seen. They, they are just downright toxic. You can't please any of them. All oh, the prequels ru ruined my childhood. Then 15 years later, all oh, this ruined my childhood. Like everything's raping their fucking childhood. So start, I begin to think that you never even had a childhood because everybody's raping their childhood. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Just kind of want to get on here and talk some Star Wars with you. But honestly, watch the comments. People are going to start backlashing. All oh, the socks, socks, socks. Like, try to have some intelligent conversation if you truly do not like The Last Jedi. And I just kind of want to know why explain to me why in an intelligent you know calm conversation in the comment box don't go out and go don't don't be one of those jackasses that are going to go out there and you know start spamming hate comments in the comment box because that's not cool that, that just kind of makes you guys dickheads but anyway guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna go start reading this book on my chapter three i'm gonna get to it anyway uh be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below until next time as always i'm robert storms and that's my opinion